you are about to listen to a Beyond the Wheel mini pod. Hey everyone, today I'm talking about why Sabrina and I bought a used RV instead of a new one. When Sabrina and I first started shopping for an RV, we were only looking at new ones and we said we would never buy a used RV. The reason being is because part of our shopping experience, we rented a Class A motorhome to see if we would like it. And we did, except for the fact that it was pretty gross and had a handful of issues that made camping a challenge. But overall, we loved the experience of RVing, just not the RV itself. So as we were shopping for an RV, a friend of ours had some good advice for us. He said, don't be afraid to buy used just because of that bad experience with the rented RV. He said, because when you buy a used RV, the previous owner has already worked out all the bugs and has squashed them. When you buy a new RV, a lot of the first year of that RV is spent fixing issues, normally warranty issues. And he said, by buying used, this could potentially give you guys more time on the road and less time in the shop. That advice really stuck with us. And it was like almost like a light bulb went off because we were buying an RV for Sabrina's work. We can't be sitting in a shop having it being fixed throughout the year, even if it is under warranty. We need to be able to get to our next destination. We are not going to be location independent. We had a schedule and we had to keep it. And from that point on, we completely changed our shopping and decided, all right, if we're going to buy a used RV, it's going to have to be slightly used. Within a year or two, we started looking at RVs that were closer to one year old. And to our surprise, the price difference between brand new and something that was only six months old was drastically different. Some of these RVs seemed like steals to us. We actually found an RV in Ohio. It was only six months old and under $80,000. We felt that that was almost too good to be true. So we hired an RV inspector to go out and look at it, which we actually highly recommend everyone to do is to have an RV inspector look at an RV before you purchase it and that could be a whole other mini pot on its own. The RV inspector that we hired went out to the RV in Ohio and he did find some minor issues with that RV. Uh, The dealer Schaefer's truck and RV sales agreed to fix those issues before we flew out to even look at the RV. They took care of the issues then Sabrina and I flew out to look the RV over ourselves. The RV was beautiful and honestly it was in tip-top shape. The previous owners had bought it, took it out on a few trips, then decided to trade it in for a diesel pusher. Honestly, their loss became our gain, literally, because an RV depreciates value quickly when it leaves the lot. So for us to buy the used RV, we did not take that initial depreciation loss, which we thought that was a pretty big plus right there. Now, a lot of people will tell you when you buy used, you don't get the factory warranty, which is usually true. But we purchased an extended warranty, which was good for up to five years. We figured with so many systems that make up the RV, it was only a matter of time when something would break on the RV, not if something would break on the RV. Our RV has actually held up really well throughout the years, and we wound up breaking even on the cost of the warranty. We now have 120,000 miles on our Vista. So all in all, it turned out to be a great deal. This isn't to say that buying new does not have its advantages. For example, when you buy new, you get exactly what you want. And a lot of times you can order through the dealer to make sure you also don't get anything you don't want. In our case, our RV came with a drop down bunk over the captain's chairs. And at the time, we didn't think we really needed it or wanted it, but we have used it a few times when family visits. It also acts as a nice little safe area because you can put something on the bunk, raise it up and then lock it in place. But to be honest, it would not have been something that we would have chose if we were buying new. You can also say that we were kind of stuck with the color scheme of our RV. If bought new, we could have chosen the outside as well as the inside colors. Also, when you buy new, it is clean, like super clean. So if you have allergies to pets or smoke, you may want to look at new units as these RVs should come allergen free. Another plus when buying new, you get all the latest and greatest tech in that RV. This is why we were also trying to stay only a year or even less because we did not want our RV to be outdated right from day one. We still missed out on a few items, 
but nothing major. And we've made a few upgrades to our RV that honestly, our, our RV now is probably more tech advanced than some of the new RVs that are out there. And the last big advantage is the warranty is included in the price of a new RV. But these are typically only for one to two years. Every once in a while, you might find an RV that has a three-year warranty. And it's nice that these warranties are included in the price, but you could always do what we did and we just purchased an extended warranty. Yes, it will be an, an extra charge, but you get to shop around for that warranty and pick what you feel is the best warranty for your needs. So that's the story of why we bought a used RV. But I would love to hear from you on what you own. Did you go with a new RV or a used one and why? I hope you all enjoyed this mini pod. But before you go, could you please take the time to leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform? These ratings and reviews really help us out. Take care all and safe travels.